you've got a baby or you're about to have a baby, these tummy time tips will help your little kiddo start meeting all their milestones in no time. I'm a board certified pediatrician and I'm a father of five and I can personally guarantee you that if you do tummy time the right way, your kid's gonna get into Harvard on a scholarship. I get questions all the time. When do we start doing tummy time? How long do we do tummy time for? Why do we do it? And what on earth would go wrong if we didn't do tummy time? I just said tummy time a lot. I'm a grown man. Doing tummy time in the correct way helps your baby develop muscle strength and coordination that they will need to roll over, to sit, to crawl, and to walk. It also helps prevent them from developing a big old flat spot on the back of their head while you're being a good parent and putting them on their back to sleep every night. So the time to start is today. You can even start doing tummy time the day your little nugget is born. When they're that little, you just put their chest on your chest and lean back. And I don't think you can overdo how often you do tummy time, but at the very beginning, you might start with sessions that just last a minute or two. With my kids, we just kind of went as long as they could until their neck muscles just sort of wore out on them. And they kind of hated tummy time at first, and to be honest, Yours might too, but the amount of time that they tolerate will get longer and longer the more that you do it. Just keep doing, I don't know, three to four sessions a day, and then each of those sessions will get longer and longer. By the time your child is four months old, they can spend an hour, hour and a half on their bellies and be just fine. Maybe put some of their toys or some interesting objects around them and consider putting them just out of reach. I guarantee they're gonna be cruising towards those milestones. Your kid will be the healthiest and most developmentally appropriate baby in the history of babies. So be sure you hit follow if you could use evidence-based help from a pediatrician.